pull this tight, it pulls it flat so that the, the top doesn't drop over so that it can be read all the time. And then I have the QR codes for uh, did a petition and then uh, this is the website and then there's a manifesto and then there's uh, another piece that I wrote uh, a Palestinian and Jewish a joint appeal uh, that I wrote up when I was looking for Palestinian organizations that are endorse it I sent it to my friend uh, the ambassador Dr. Abdullah Abdullah with whom I worked I was uh, a charge de faire. You know, I was a diplomat working in the Palestine office during the war of 82 to 85. That's where I wrote my first book, a documentary study on the Sabah Shatila massacre, documenting how it was the responsibility of General Sharon, who organized it. Mm. So I don't know a lot of these things. Like, I, I know the Holocaust, I know Sabah Shatila happened, but I don't know the detail. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, and? So I sent the uh, statement to him, no answer. Oh, why? It's, it's, yeah, like it's not part of, you know, the uh, FATA uh, program. And also, the founding uh, charter of, of FATA uh, refuses to recognize that there is such a thing as a Jewish people. When I met Arafat, I, I was in... Uh, you met Arafat? Yeah, I, I, in Beirut. I, I, was, I was at a... Uh, please, please, he gave me his finger. <laughs> There was an international solidarity conference in Beirut. Okay. okay after the PLO had won, you know, the battles with the uh, with the uh, the right wing Christians, okay. Crusaders, basically the descendants of Cru Crusaders. Mm -hmm. So uh, we all got to meet with Arafat. You know, each delegation from every country. And so the first thing, you know, I I, I was the leader of the delegation from Canada. You know. He, he grabs me, kisses me, you know, he was really, you know, like, you know, wet kisses, you know. <laughs> 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 With big lips, you know, like he was really into it. So we sit down, we're talking, you know, friendly, friendly. And then he says to me, do you have a question for me? Uh, so I said, oh, you know, sure, if I'd ask me, you know, to ask him a question, you know, I can ask him any question at all. And I thought, what's the best question I can ask of the yes, or if I, So I thought, do you have a message to the Jewish people? So I figured, you know, he'd say something nice, you know, and then I could go and repeat it, you know, to all the Jewish people that I knew. He yells at me, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, he was like, he wouldn't, you know, like, no. calm down after that, no. Yeah. With me, you know, like, it was, you know, like, no that's way. You, know? <laughs> you were like, off his list. <laughs> yeah, because he only heard Zionists talking about Jewish people. He never knew about Jewish blood or anything like that. No genocide allowed in Gaza, not in our name. So, you know, that's you know, what I was facing all this time. And it's still, you know, the reason why they won't endorse, you know, a joint statement with the Jewish uh, Solidarity Movement. It's too bad. Even though I was working for the PLO. Okay. For, for three years. How was that? I wrote all the English stuff because they couldn't write English. <laughs> You know, they could barely talk proper English, you know, because they had just been sent over, you know, and, and they had never, you know, been educated in the West or anything. Oh, and they didn't have, you know, uh, in good English instruction. Okay, so, so, I, so, you know, every morning with uh, Dr. Abdul Abdullah, he would tell me what the important points were for the day, and I would write letters to the editor. Which editor? Uh -huh. I was writing letters to the editor that were getting published in the Toronto Star, the Ottawa Citizen, and the Montreal Gazette. Oh, really? Every week. Oh. You know, we're, and then finally the designers were, were forced to respond. So we had an open debate in public with designers before there were negotiations even. Oh. And they were published? Like yes, because I wrote interesting letters, you know, letters that were, you know, you know, proper, you know, properly done, you know, with, uh, and with, uh, um, you know, it's, it's a whole sort of methodology, you know, that, that goes into it. Mm, like the facts. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and and uh, you know, uh, referring, to, you know, not to sort of you know, talking in a nationalistic kind of a way, mm-hmm. but talking in a legal kind of a way, yes. but in a popular language. Okay. Yeah. So, and then I, I then you know the, the subsequent aspect took place, and, and Abdullah said, you know, like. You know, collect all the information you can, you know, because I was getting information from all the newspapers and, you know, New York Times and Guardian and all of this stuff that's coming to the office. So I was getting all the facts in, written by the journalist, and I collected it all into the, you know, of what he thought was going to be 30 pages. And it turned into 114 pages. Wow. Because there was so much information that came out. Okay. And, and then that's what the book you published? Mm-hmm. The beginning? Then Abdullah wanted to publish the book in his name. And couldn't get it published. So I found a person publisher who was, you know, with the left wing, you know, PFLP in Ottawa. The problem is he was also working with, you know, fascists, you know, Arabs as well. And and uh, and, and also working with uh, Libya. I, I went to Libya in Tripoli in 1973 and I spoke there about, you know, uh, my Jewish perspective, uh, anti Zionist perspective, and it was adopted by. A Sayyid Ali Sam Qadhafi, who wrote the, uh, the, the, the book, uh, the pamphlet called The White Book, or For Israel Kingdom. And they were proposing that there would be joint co- coexistence in Palestine with the, uh, the, the Jewish uh, uh, people there, and, and you know, outlining it in a in somewhat, you know, like constitutional format. But that came from me. I've done all this, you know, but it hasn't resulted in anything, you know, like important or big. And I keep on getting centered, you know, and, and the PLO is, you know, useless in working with. And Fatha, I, 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 I mean Hamas, I met Hamas in, in Nablus in 2011 okay. during the prisoners' hunger strike. Okay. When was that? 2011. Okay. Hmm? No genocide allowed in Gaza. Seem to be like you know the spokesperson for Hamas and Nablus. Okay. They're sitting there at this tent, you know, in the Dawah, in the center, uh, underneath the tent, and everybody there is supposed to be either fasting or just being there, you know, in solidarity with the prisoners on a hunger strike. And so he's sitting at the other side, you know, like this circle, I think, and he goes like that to me. <laughs> I didn't know he was Hamas. I thought he was just telling me to get into the shade, you know. From the sun, you know, because it was because you know you learn to you know stay in the shade there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my other knee. Oh, no. My other knee has to be replaced too. Well, they won't let me sit down on the on the on the uh, granite there. They told me if I sit down there, they'll arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm here, gonna get you a chair. Let me. Let me get you a chair. Okay. It's like. It'll be five, ten minutes max. Okay, uh, okay. wait, but what time is it, you know? Like, I'm only, um, I only schedule myself to last year until four o'clock. It's 3.21. So it's uh, no, no point, you know, like, it's only another 30 minutes or so. It's up to you. I'm easily going to go and No, 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 I, I want to talk with you, you know, that's more important. Okay. Okay, no genocide allowed in Gaza, not in our name. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Women are more receptive, except for the fanatics, who, who shout louder than even women. <laughs> yeah, I saw one last week. <laughs> Don't talk to my children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Okay, so you saw that guy who Oh, yeah. Him? So, it turns out that he does, didn't speak any English. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And how was your Arabic at So the then, he, then I go in, into the shade, and then he says, Come here, you know, like he was getting angry, you know. <laughs> So I come over there, you know, and then then he realizes that we need a translator. So then, uh, my friend, uh, who you know from the PFLP, you know, she came and she started translating for us. Uh, he invites us back to his home. Uh, Hello, no genocide allowed in Gaza, not in our name. No genocide in Gaza allowed. No genocide in Gaza allowed. No to the occupation of Palestine. 
no killing of palestinians.